Hi folks. Well, I was actually going to do a review today, but uh, something was recently brought to my attention that I feel uh, it would be irresponsible of me not to do a video about. So, I'm doing a video about it. As most of you probably know, um, I'm a fan of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, as I know most of you are, or a good chunk of you are. And recently, the whole Turtles franchise was bought lock, stock, and barrel by Nickelodeon. And a lot of us have been wondering, well, what's this going to mean for the DVD releases? Well, we got a glimmer of hope recently when we got the news that the 25th anniversary animated television movie event special Turtles Forever would finally be getting a DVD release. That's something that was really up in the air for a while. I mean, because the show aired, everybody loved it. It was just such a an awesome tribute to 25 years of Turtles and just a real uh, treat for fans and a true 25th anniversary celebration event and a really entertaining Turtles movie in its, in its own uh, that we could be proud of as Turtles fans. You know, and if the whole franchise had ended with that movie, we would be perfectly content with that because it was just great, great stuff. I think when a lot of us heard the concept, we were a little iffy on it, but man, was it ever well done. They just did a great job of it, and it was fun, it was funny, it was exciting and action-packed and just a real treat for fans. But there was no DVD release coming. So then the Nickelodeon deal happened kind of in the middle of that there. That was the last non-Nickelodeon involved Turtles production. And, well, we finally got the word a little while ago that it's coming out on DVD. Cause for celebration, right? Woohoo! Well, it would be cause for celebration if there wasn't so much wrong with it. And that's what we're going to talk about today. That's what we're going to rant about today on the Multimedia Chronicles. Okay, let's get into it, shall we? Now, let's start with the first thing that's wrong with it. Let's take a look at the cover. Yeah, it's a pretty nice cover, don't you think? It's got the turtles on it. It's got Shredder on it. It's got the snazzy Turtles Forever logo on it. Pretty cool, eh? Well, here's the problem. Do you know anything about Turtles Forever? Well, for those of you who don't, basically, it's an epic crossover story where the 2003 Turtles meet the 1987 Turtles, and they team up with them. And you got the 1987 Shredder and the 2003 Shredder, and they worked, sort of work together. And it's like this huge crossover event of all the heroes and villains, like the big notable ones, from both shows intertwined into one epic crossover alternate universe uh, storyline. And it's great. It's great stuff. But it doesn't stop there. It also brings in the comic book turtles and all the various versions of the comic book turtles. So it's like every version of the turtles ever, pretty much, except for the live action ones. Although I think even the live action movie ones have cameos in the uh, just in the form of clips of you know turtles from other universes. It's a little too complicated to explain the whole damn thing, but suffice it to say it's a huge crossover event with, like, countless versions of the Turtles. The central focus of it is the 87 Turtles meeting the 2003 Turtles. So what's the problem with this cover? Now, if you didn't have me in the store there with you to give you the explanation I just gave you, would you look at that cover and think that it was a huge 25th anniversary celebration crossover alternate universe storyline event? No. You take one look at that and say, oh, Turtles DVD. I see um, it's the Turtles versus the Shredder. 
again. Yay! <laughs> where where's where's the event? You know, where's the event in that cover? You know what they should have used for the cover? They should use this. This is one of the original promo posters they put out all over the internet to promote the special coming out. And that that shows you what it's about. You take one look at that, you're like, oh whoa. It's the 87 Turtles and the 2003 Turtles together? Whoa, I gotta check this out. This is gonna be crazy. Like, why, why, why would they not do that for the cover? Or have some version of that or something like that that conveys the same information? You know? That makes no sense to me. But that's, that's only the tip of the iceberg. That's only the beginning of what's wrong with this DVD release. Okay, I can excuse a, a crappy cover if the disc contents make up for it. So, let's uh, talk about the disc contents, shall we? Now, Turtles Forever, when it aired on television, clocked in at about 70 minutes without commercials. So it's about 90 minutes with commercials, all right? So it's about 70 minutes without commercials. It turned out that the version that was on television was not the only version out there. No! There's an alternate cut, an extended cut, that runs 79 minutes. 79 minutes. So you would think, oh, that's a no-brainer. That's going to be the version they'll put on the DVD, right? Nope. 70 minutes. That's right. The DVD is the truncated 70-minute version. You know, th this is only the 25th anniversary special movie event. Um, so we really don't need to put the deluxe version on the DVD because, you know, it's, it's nothing special. But it doesn't stop there. Oh you know, no, it doesn't stop there. That's a big one, for sure. Tr you know, chopping out a full nine minutes of the movie. That's, I'd say that's pretty significant. The final thing, the real kicker. In this day and age of widescreen television, well, the Turtles are not to be left behind the advances in modern technology. Oh no, Turtles Forever was done in true cinematic style. It was filmed and animated in widescreen. 16 by 9 widescreen. So naturally, that's going to be what's on the DVD, right? Wrong. The DVD is 4x3. That's right, folks. They've chopped off the sides to fit the antiquated full-screen aspect ratio that barely anybody uses anymore. Why? Would it not actually be more trouble to do it that way than to just leave it in widescreen? Give it a nice anamorphic widescreen transfer? I mean, it's a 79-minute movie. You can fit that on a single layer DVD with a nice high bit rate. And <laughs> there's just no excuse. So this has left fans really pissed, quite frankly. You know, I mean, this is a huge event movie that, quite frankly, it's... I said quite frankly twice in like 30 seconds. It's a miracle that it even got produced, you know. I mean, this was a true labor of love for the people who did it. Essentially, their love letter to the fans who have kept the franchise alive for the past 25 years, who have been passing it on to their children, who will pass it on to their children. So when we heard that Nickelodeon had picked up the license, everybody was kind of waiting with bated breath to see what they would do with it. I mean, we heard, okay, they're working on a new movie, they're working on a new TV show, great. What about the stuff that's already out? What kind of stuff are we going to be seeing? Like, what kind of releases are we going to be seeing for those? And the first one out of the gate, Turtles Forever! Crappy cover, chopped down running time, full screen version. Thanks! Glad to see you care about this 25-year-old franchise you just bought lock, stock, and barrel apparently for no fucking reason other than to make a quick cash grab. <sighs> so, 
So needless to say, folks, my advice to you, if you're a Turtles fan, is boycott the fuck out of this crap-ass, piece-of-shit Turtles Forever release. It is a slap in the face to the fans that it was made out of love for. <sighs> Turtles deserves better than this. Turtles fans deserve better than this. Until Nickelodeon came out, Turtles fans had it pretty good. Pretty good. Mirage Studios is putting out a steady stream of reprints. We had the 2003 series coming out on DVD from Funimation. We had the 1987 series almost fully complete coming out from Lionsgate. They got eight of the ten seasons out. You know, so there's two seasons to go and three missing episodes. And then, of course, we all know the story of the 2003 series. We need proper season releases of seasons three, four, and seven. And then that whole thing will be out, too. So... Now fans are wondering, oh, are they going to mess with those two? Are they going to put the rest of those out in some kind of truncated, messed up form that just pisses us off more? Maybe they'll just put out random single disc releases with three random episodes of every Turtle series ever in no particular order. <sighs> yeah. Better not give them any ideas. Uh, anyway, my advice to you is boycott this release. Thank you for watching. That's it from me to you for now. Until next time, sayonara.